Hey, uh, what's up, Cody? Not much, man. What's up with you? Oh, not a lot. What's uh, what's new? I don't know, man. Let's ask the eight wall. Welcome. Uh, welcome back, season one, episode uh, nineteen, I believe. Nineteen, yeah. Uh, it's my lucky number. Is it? Yep. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. Can you, can you name any athletes with wore the number nineteen? Uh, Peyton Manning. Nineteen. He was eighteen. See? <laughs> Willis Reed, guys. Willis Reed? He's from my hometown. I, I did Which notice is that. in uh, Louisiana. Bernice. Yeah, Bernice, Bernice Louisiana. Louisiana. Nice. We Willis had a, Reed, uh, baby. A Hall of Famer. <laughs> NBA champion. MVP. All that. Before we go into Bernice, we should probably introduce our guest. Yeah. The uh, If you're on iTunes, comedy albums right now, number one in the country. What's the uh, Instagram name? Moose Rattler? Moose Rattler. Yep. yep. Rattler. But uh, we just know him as Dante Powell. Yeah. Yeah, Des Moines' very own, or Bernice, Louisiana. I'm, I'm, I've been there long enough. I think I'm a Des Moines, Des Moines or whatever. Yeah, you're on uh, <laughs> Wikipedia's notable people. It says, it says Dante Powell. Yeah, I, me and uh, one of the dudes from Duck Dynasty. So <laughs> when I when I go back home, I'm gonna he's, he's got a sign in my hometown. I'm going to absolutely destroy it. I'm just gonna <laughs> fuck it up. I don't know if I got to spray paint it or like get a sledgehammer, but I'm fucking that sign up. <laughs> Did you have you looked at your Wikipedia recently? I have not. No. Uh, somebody made an addition on it. It says uh, guest on the Ask the Eight Ball podcast. Oh, dope! Yeah, critically, <laughs> critically acclaimed. Critically I'll acclaimed. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm with it. <laughs> also, fun fact: uh, Bernice uh, is the name of the pet possum at the bar you work at. What? Yeah, what bar? Do they still well, have it? It's uh, it still runs around. It's a uh, Wellman's rooftop out. It's in, got uh, a kid West now. Island. It's got a kid now. Yeah, Bernice, really? She, super friendly possum just comes out, gets some food, goes back to the bush. Okay, they, they all right. Come up and yeah. Hang out on the rooftop and everything. Possum. I I don't. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't really fuck with possums because they like they seem a little too aggressive for me. Yeah, yeah. they could be friendly, but it could be plain possum. Plain possum. <laughs> but. I, <laughs> I, I like them because they eat, they eat, I know that they eat ticks and things like that that we don't need, but right, yeah. I'm like, you fuck with what you're doing, and I'm going to fuck with what I'm doing, and <laughs> try to make the best of you it. Don't wanna, you don't want to, like, pet it, have a pet possum Absolutely possibly. not, not absolutely like not. Okay. <laughs> right. uh, so, being new to Des Moines, I assume, well, not new, not new. being new five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago. Well, uh, I moved here in 2012, so, I, oh, wow, eight years yeah, now. Well, Jeez. Ugh. Oh, getting getting school, old. So my you're, you're yeah, old, guys. We're, getting, we're all getting old. I but uh, <laughs> I assume your favorite burger is from Bebop's. Um, y yes, actually, that's <laughs> I, yeah. And my brothers, they they've come to visit a couple of times. They love Bebop's as well. Yeah, Bebop's is our sponsor, so I'm glad you said yes. I well, <laughs> I was like, oh shit. I had a oh, second shit. while I thought about. It. I was like, you mean you? I was gonna say you mean your sponsor Bebop's, but then I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, Bebop's just uh, they just re-upped their uh, contract with us for uh, eight more weeks. So you know, yeah. cheers to Bebop's. Nice. Uh, Way to go, Bebop. So shout out to them. Also, uh, next week, they've got a bunch of giveaways they want us to do. He won't tell me what it is. He said it's some cool shit, though. Oh, dope. Hey, can I plug my sponsor as yeah, well? Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Absolutely. I'm supposed to... Uh, my appearance here is brought to you guys by the committee to elect Tom Steyer. So basically, like, when he was still running for president, he has so much money to give away <laughs> that he just gave me a million dollars. He was like, just however long this will get me. And I told him I'd do this through, well, like... Good, because we're not paying you tonight. So yeah. He got one percent of the vote, but they Yeah, so I'm, I'm obligated to do that anywhere I show up through September. Uh, vote for Tom <laughs> Steyer, everyone. I think his ads are still playing on China. They TV. are. They, he still got a billboard on the south side. I'm not even kidding. It's incredible. <laughs> Oh man, we can still do this, Tom. Don't ever give <laughs> up. <laughs> Brought to you by the committee to elect, elect Tom Steyer. <laughs> nice. Is that our fake sponsor of the week? <laughs> that Tom Spire, yeah, president. Tom Steyer, president. Oh man. Right. So I got a question. So Dante, we've What's done this up? thing where we've done, asked, you know, pop, soda, bubbler, all that stuff. Are there any sayings from Louisiana or from the South that you don't hear in Iowa? Ooh, so many. Um, there. So. Oh, somebody just got hit. <laughs> Someone died? There's a fight in the Did back. Someone died? That's, so that's the first one, the little noise I just made. Yeah. It's like we're I never dogs. hear that here anymore. <laughs> and then there's uh, Les Les Bon Temps Roulet, which is Let the Good Times Roll. Okay. That's a big thing in Louisiana. Um, I, like, most of the other stuff is just kind of, I think, like, uh, like mispronunciations because uh, like people in Louisiana have trouble with words that end in O-I-L 
So like the word oil, okay. they say fur, like earl. They, okay. So like if you're talking about aluminum foil, they'll say aluminum furl. Or like, okay. <laughs> got to get my earl changed? Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. You go get your, your earl changed. And so uh, every now and again, I'll be like out and I'll hear someone do that. And I'm like, oh, shit, you from Louisiana. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> I get to spark a friendship. Okay. Yeah. So do you say, do they say uh, f- drinking fountain or is it, what was it? Uh, uh, I don't know. Drinking fountain or water fountain? We say water fountain. Water fountain? Like where you, where yeah. you go to get a drink. Yeah. yeah. Do you say mowing the lawn or cutting the grass? Uh, cutting the grass. You say pop or soda? Soda. <laughs> okay. Actually, we say Coke. Coke. Oh, yeah. I guess <laughs> yeah. I, that's, that's a thing. That wasn't one of the options. I don't fuck with Pepsi. <laughs> uh, with these inquisitive questions being asked right now, uh, here in Iowa, we have this thing called ranch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is that big down in the south? Uh, I feel like it's an Iowa thing. It's weird. It exists, but like I, re- I don't, I don't fuck with it. I don't fuck with ranch or blue cheese or none of that. I'm the I, same way. I'm the weird. same you way. See people just dump uh, ranch on everything, and it's I know they do. It's it's incredible. I'll like go places and see people like. Uh, I know this comes with two ranches. Can I get another three on top of that? <laughs> yeah, right. It's like I need some ranch to dunk my ranch in. Yeah. Can if I can it? get it, please. And a straw. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I mean, more power to you guys. I just don't, I don't fuck with it. I'm not a big ranch fan, but. Uh, so, uh, throughout the uh, show, we do a couple different things. We do a uh, thing called the Blitz. Let's do it. This yeah. week, it's Cody's uh, turn. We're not going to do it yet. I'm just giving you a, f- a heads up. Cody asked giving you five, a warning. Five, six questions. I'm ready for whatever, man. I'm ready for whatever. We also do whatever. my favorite part of the week. It's the uh, Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. Okay. Do you know, <laughs> this week's is going to be good. I'm very proud of it. You're very proud of this one? Yeah, of the low life piece. You've already picked out the winner? Oh, absolutely. So my nominees don't count? Well, you can nominate. If your <laughs> nominees are better, then yeah. But uh, do, you, do you know Kyle McLean? I, he owns Hella Marjorie? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like I should know Kyle McLean. Because yeah, he's but, a low life piece of <laughs> shit. But I don't. I'm okay. sorry, Kyle. So, <laughs> it's, I'm not trying to big no, Kyle. No, no, no. It's fine. I, just, I asked because the first time I ever saw you do stand up was at Hello Marjorie. Yes. I, I remember that. Um, that Gosh. was a very fun show. Yeah, it was. I was crying during the show. You just made fun so of the old, old white lady painted on the wall. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do that sometimes. I make fun of old white women. I'm sorry <laughs> to the Golden <laughs> Girls. To the Golden Girls. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to my mom. Yeah. <laughs> What's your mom's name? Pam. Pam, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know you personally, she, but... She doesn't know how to work the interweb, so I think <laughs> we're safe. So, speak, that was the first time I saw you, too. And you kind of roasted the decor inside Hill Marjorie, which, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. Would you roast us and start with Marshall? I mean... <laughs> no, here's the thing. I don't mind. Cody's I, always trying to pawn. I don't people. care. Everyone roasts Cody, so he's trying to pawn it on me. So if you want to, I'm cool with it. I'm terrified. Like, I... <laughs> well, I'm not terrified. Here's the thing. Um... Like, I like to roast the venues because it's like, it makes everybody feel at home. Okay. But if I'm like putting a person down, I feel bad afterwards. You can't hurt the venue's feelings, but you can hurt a person's feelings? Right. Because the venue, if like, we all agree the venue doesn't suck. So if I make fun of it for sucking, it's like, we're all in on the joke. But if I'm like, yo, Pam doesn't actually love you, (laughs) then it's like, (laughs) nice. (laughs) Like, you're adopted. She told all of us except you. She knows how to work the internet for that. (laughs) <laughs> then I'm like, <laughs> these are good jokes. <laughs> they're not. They're Thanks. terrible. Like why? Well, like I, I just went to like extremes so I could be like that. I don't. I'm not going to. I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, hurt, hurt his feelings, please. <laughs> no, uh, no. I don't, I don't have any. It's fine. <laughs> uh, so on your uh, on your number one comedy album, you did it from Iowa City. I did at the mill. Yep. Uh, What's your least favorite city in Iowa? Is Ooh, it, oh man! Is it Ankeny or Fort Dodge? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, um, that's a great question. There are so many like awesome places, but then there are some real shitholes. I think, I think, uh, uh, what's the name of that place? Malcolm. Malcolm, Malcolm Iowa. Malcolm, Iowa? Because... I've never even heard of it. I have. Because, like, I, associ- I associate the name Malcolm with Malcolm X, and I associate okay. Iowa with the whitest things ever. <laughs> and it's like, let us have Malcolm change that to, like, fucking William or some shit. <laughs> hey, that's my middle name. Leave <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, perfect. You can- that's a... Uh- <laughs> Uh, when you say Malcolm X, I associate with Malcolm in the Middle. So there you, even <laughs> the, Malcolm in the Middle is still 
more black than it is Iowa. Okay. Like I, <laughs> Cody, have you only watched terrible shows your whole life? I mean, no. Dante, how do you feel about the show uh, Big Bang Theory? Hey, man, listen. <laughs> okay. I. <laughs> so it's not something I regularly tune into, but, like, they get... They got a hot chick. They got Boom. fucking goofball dudes who are trying to get laid. And I think it's a decent... It's one of those things that if you get home early in the afternoon and it's on, you can just let it play while you, like, finish the dishes or, like, get dinner and stuff put together. But I, I couldn't imagine being like, hey, guys, you, you want to come over this weekend? <laughs> Have a watch party. Watch some Big Bang Theory. <laughs> so, you guys so, want to BBT it up? So <laughs> you've never hung out with Cody before. <laughs> yeah. I mean... I imagine Dante watches that while he's having sex. Well, Cody's... Yeah. Cody's when I come, I say bazinga. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, so, also, I noticed uh, before comedy, you were a trucker. Yes. Like a big rig, or you just drove yeah. a truck? Like I, like, I have a class A CDL. Nice. I still, like, now even uh, part-time, like, you know, 10 to 20 hours a month, I'll go help teach guys who are trying to get their CDL uh, in Des Moines. Nice. Uh, okay. Anything cool that you hauled or just like some mm, Not really. One time I had some uh, NASA equipment that they were like, this is very important that you get it to where it's going on time because it's NASA and we're important. And it was just fucking reams of paper. It was just paper? It was like, y'all treat every delivery like it's important, but this was just a staples delivery. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, okay. So I also, correct me if I'm wrong, did you open up for Nate Bergetzi? Yes. He's one of my favorite comedians. How was that? It was incredible. I, li I liked opening for Nate because he was really fun. And then after the shows, he wanted to go over to Wellman's, actually, yep. to play the uh, golf. Golden to, yeah, the golf. I, I saw him there probably when he was here two times ago. Him and the guy who opened for him that time was absolutely terrible. It was actually on my time hop. It was like three oh, years no. ago today he was there. I hope it's not Brian go, Bates. Go to that show? Uh, <laughs> it might have been. He was terrible. Was. Was Brian, terrible. I, think, I think you were incredible. Yeah, yeah. It's really <laughs> funny. I laughed, I laughed in the bathroom the whole time. Uh, but they came over and they played Golden Tee for like, because we was busy and they just played Golden Tee for like three hours. Yeah, what, so after after the shows, I think I had to skip one time, but yeah, the other nights we would just go play Golden Tee and he is like aggressively into it. Oh, yeah. So it would be, we'd go and we'd do... The first show, finish up, go to Bonefish, get food, go do the second show, then finish that one and go play Golden Tea. And it's like whenever you have, whenever you have uh, someone who like there's a method to the madness. It's always really helpful because some other guys come here and they're like, after the show, I'm trying to go to the Irish and get laid, and I'm like, <laughs> you could do so much better, I bet, yeah, if like you just tried a little bit. Yeah, go, over, <laughs> go over Shotgun Betty's and get some country girls. There you go, yeah. Let's uh, <laughs> country girls so are easier here. The only time I saw Nate not playing Golden Tea is when he was out petting Bernice out back. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like him. Uh, he's, uh, I was introduced to his stuff about a year ago, and he's insanely funny. I've watched. Yeah, and he's clean. Like, he doesn't curse. And yeah, you know, yeah, so I don't trust him. Have you ever been to a comedy show and walked out because it wasn't funny? Um... <laughs> I, yeah. You don't have to put the person on blast if you don't want. I don't think it was like a. Don't, it wasn't like a big. It would just be like a showcase. But oh, like, okay. I don't smoke cigarettes. Okay. But when I see other people take their smoke break during a bad set, I just go out and hang around the smokers, and I'm like, <laughs> give me that secondhand freedom. Give me that secondhand freedom. <laughs> I, I want to check out sooner, just like you guys. We went to the uh, Funny Bone probably like two years ago. The, saw Chris Kattan. You know, no oh, touch mango. Yeah, yeah. So fucking bad. We left twenty minutes into the show. Was uh, I think he was fucked up on something. He was, was David Bory opening for him that show? Uh, I don't. I remember the opener. I remember the opener because I was excited, and then he came on stage, and he was. I don't think he was. Just if it was, if it was David Bory, it was a black dude who kind of looks like me, a big black dude. But it's, you, you would have remembered him. He. Uh, so yeah, David is one of my friends, and he opens for Chris sometimes, and one. I just. 
I, actually, I'm not allowed to tell this story, so never mind. I'll tell you guys when we're, <laughs> we, not, when recording. we're, not, when we're not recording. Yeah, okay. but <laughs> off camera stories. I'll make a note to remind you that story after we're done here. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty. It's not that bad, but it's yeah. also something I'm not supposed okay. to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um. So, again, during your special, uh, the squirrels get fat. Yes. Um. Two jokes that really stood out to me. Stories, okay. jokes. Merle Hay Mall. Yeah, okay. Merle Hay Mall. Facts I, I never know. I did not know Merle Hay Mall was named, named after, after uh, a black man. Yeah, the first person to die in World War yeah, One, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's not black though. Oh, he's not. Oh. No, he. So I thought he was. Merle Hay is just a very black name. Oh, okay. okay. I think. Okay. But the yeah, Merle That's Hay right. is actually a. He's this dude from some town in Iowa, and he was the first one to die during World War One. Okay. And yeah. he got a mall named after him. <laughs> and not even the best mall. <laughs> It's not. I listen, man. I wish it was. <laughs> well, that's it's better. It's better than Valley West now. Yeah, that's nuts. When I moved here, Valley West was like creeping up on Jordan Creek, I thought, and then Valley West just plummeted. Yeah, they're they're about to be apartments and a Blaze Pizza. That's about to sort of man. Right crazy how life goes. But the other one was R.I.P. Uh, Valley West. R.I.P. <laughs> the other one was a. Uh, it was just a joke. Walmart. Where a white privilege goes to die. <laughs> it's true, man. It's a fantastic joke because I avoid Walmart like the plague. Every every time I go there, I'm like, I'm. I guarantee you, I could buy one of these white people and use them. <laughs> <laughs> I could reverse. I could gentrify slavery right now. I could own a white person if I just opened up my wallet and saw how much. I I bet. Like even the Mill Civic Walmart's terrible. Yeah. Because yeah. that I just could, brings the out of towners. I could buy one of these Caucasian puppies and raise it as my <laughs> own if I wanted to. But oh, I <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, we do a uh, little bit of a would you rather. Let's do it. Would you rather sleep with a fat girl or a cross-eyed girl? Both. I'm trying Both? to fuck who I, nah. <laughs> but I, the, the fat girl. The fat girl? Yeah. I mean, there's a, there a cross-eyed girl at the bar there, and he just creeped me out. I couldn't tell if she was looking at me or the other bartender. I couldn't tell who. I smash you the well, one. She's probably looking at the other bartender. Well, looking over me, I get it. I'm short. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not picky like that. I depend. I want to know what her personality is like. Fat girl or cross-eyed girl? That's yeah. What would you rather? I don't know. I mean, cross-eyed girl. My dad always said beauty's only a light switch away. That's true. <laughs> Jeez. But uh, thrown out back isn't. <laughs> yeah. But that weight's gonna, you know, ruin those bed know, springs. That's a, that's a fucked up question, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, wow. any woman wow. that's willing to have sex with a man is a, like the bravest person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> I don't know. If I was a woman, I would just move to a mountain and never fuck anybody. <laughs> and women are just out here freely fucking dudes. And I'm that's like, I look back on the women who have had sex with me and I'm like, you could do so much better. <laughs> I don't know what you were thinking. And they just be like, yes, well, I have I have unprotected sex with you. And I'm like, oh my God, you really are crazy. Uh, that's funny because I was a woman. I think I'd be a huge whore. I would just sleep with everybody. Well, I don't think you would. I I, like, it's, I, I think you say that, but yeah. I think you become a woman, you'd be a prude. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. Would you I'm rather, not going to try and find out anytime soon. No. <laughs> would you rather, Cody? You got any more would you rathers? Uh, that, was, that was the big one. Um, you got a small one? I can come up with, would you rather, would you, <laughs> would you rather give up cheese or oral sex, giving and receiving? Ooh. Um, that, that's a question. How, like forever? Forever. <gasps> Damn. You can never eat cheese or anything that has cheese on it. We have to give up oral sex. We have to give up oral sex. I'm going to give up the oral sex. Thank you. That's the Thank correct answer. Yes. Thank you. Somebody the audience likes that one. Thank you. I don't, I don't normally come from blowjobs, so <laughs> suck yeah, it, lady. Neither, 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 neither do I. Neither I've had a cheesy gordita one time and almost oh, did. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had Taco Bell today, and God, the, the little yeah. queso. Plus, they're, like, cheese is so, there's so many, like, angles off of cheese. I might not be able to get my dick sucked no more, but I can still, like, have, I can <laughs> fuck somebody in the butthole. Or, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> like, Jesus. You just that's fair you gotta you gotta consider the you gotta go down these paths so he went, you know he, what's he went what. straight to the butthole that's hey but with that being said we'll take a quick break from our fake sponsor <laughs> of the week and also uh tom steyer for president okay. <laughs> 
Hey, Nicholas. Yes, babe? I think I'm ready. You know, to have sex. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. So I came prepared. You brought a condom? No, silly. Nick. <laughs> kind of kinky. I rigged this room with explosives. Premarital sex is a sin. Have fun running in hell, Beth. Nick! Nick! No! Wait! Nick, please! No! Tom Steyer will beat Donald Trump on the economy. His People Over Profits plan makes a living wage a right, creates thousands of good-paying green jobs in Nevada, and provides a 10% tax cut for everyone making under $250,000. Tom's plan also makes health care a right by adding a public option to Obamacare to ensure universal coverage, protects union-negotiated plans, and allows Nevadans to make their own health care choices. I'm Tom Steyer, and I approve... All right, big thanks to our uh, fake sponsor of the week, and also uh, Tom Steyer for president. Tom Steyer, yep. That man, he's get, got an outside shot. Get out and vote, people. Yeah. You got to vote. It's not too late. Voting is very important. Hey, if <laughs> look, if Kanye can get on the ticket, Tom Steyer <laughs> can get on the ticket. Right, right. So, Dante, when we first saw you perform at Hello Marjorie, you took off your shirt and showed off your father figure. Oh, man. Did I? I, wish I, <laughs> I remember. Oh, I man. think I have a picture yeah. saved. Yeah. And, you uh, got pictures of him with the shirt off saved on your phone? Yeah, somewhere. Good. Good. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, good. like a big bang theory is not the on guy, you, something to jerk the, off to? The guy, we all clearly work out. So, I mean, what, oh, what do you do when you're not at the gym? Um, <laughs> tell jokes and, <laughs> uh... I, like I try to make my day as uh, as productive comedically as I can. So either I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna wake up and spend, you know, four hours uh, in my email and contacts, emailing clubs and trying to like make sure my calendar is full, or I'm going to like, uh, you know, I record most of my sets. So I'll go like go back and listen, and then I'll outline a set to move forward with, or something like that. Or I'll just sit down and actually do some writing. Or I, I try to do as much of that as I can. Or you know I'll do uh, like a production meeting for a podcast, or just whatever it may be. Okay. But I try to do as much as I can to make myself because sometimes as a comedian i feel like a fraud because i don't always have anything to do like there i'm not clocking in in the morning mm -hmm. and then clocking out in the afternoon like sometimes it's eight or nine p.m and i'm having to send out 30 emails because some you know some chain of clubs changed their website and now all the email addresses are at dot net versus dot com so i have to reach out to these people again so it's just a matter of making sure i'm filling up this time with stuff that's going to make me feel productive and then uh outside of that i'm like trolling people on social media <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do follow you on facebook and instagram and i've seen a couple of trolls you had that cracked me up pretty good <laughs> i i genuinely try to make it so that like it's I try not to be mean unless I have to, and then once it's time to be mean, I'm like mean for a little while until I'm tired of it, and then I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'm done. You get tired of being mean to people? I do. It's like fast too, because I <laughs> like <laughs> I, I have uh, uh, one of my classmates from middle school started talking crazy to me on Facebook the other day, and then like somebody else reached out to me and was like yo you know that he's a meth head now like <laughs> leave him alone and i was like well i mean don't he came he and started me. it yeah and so um i found out that in his uh meth adventures one time he uh he got arrested because he talked some high schoolers into breaking into a barn and stealing an anvil <laughs> and that's just the what? funniest thing I've ever what? heard of someone. An anvil? Yeah, like he's fucking Wiley Coyote or some shit. And uh, <laughs> and I just think that like the mental image of that is that's the most met. Like 
how messed up do you have to be to think I'm going <laughs> to get an a fucking anvil out of a bar? What, what are you going to use that for? Like, can you cook meth on an anvil? Well, when Wiley I, Coyote runs by, you need it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to catch the road runner. Yeah. <laughs> Code runner. <laughs> uh, so you said that you go to production meetings for podcasts. Yeah. Oh, shit, we fucked up there. Yeah. yeah. We, no. we kind of just threw you in. Yeah. No, no. no. Do, do our production meeting consist of? I text Cody at 7 a.m. while I'm in the bathtub. And I say, hey, man, what do you think of this joke? <laughs> but I mean, like, I mean, for like the podcasts I do, where I'm like, it, I actively have to participate and not just come on and talk shit. Oh, okay. Like, that's I, right. So you've been on other podcasts, but this is clearly your favorite. You don't even need to answer that question, but I'm right. assuming this is your favorite one so far. Right, right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Have you been on any big name podcasts? Um, I don't. I feel like now I'm going to, somebody's going to be like, what? You did my podcast. I can't believe you left me. <laughs> I feel like every podcast I do is a big podcast. So, yeah. Okay. I've All been right. on nothing but big podcasts. I yeah. think you'd be like great on. Ball. Yeah, ask the eight ball. Yeah. <laughs> He just he lobbed it up for you there. He did. He did. Wait, are we ready for the blitz? Are we ready for the blitz? All right. Are you ready for the blitz? Let's blitz me, man. Hot, hot, hot. It's it's a blitz. It's it's a blitz. It's it's a blitz. Yeah, it's a blitz. Let's go. The blitz. Five, six questions. I think I got six questions today. Let me six questions. So yeah. he, sh- he rapid fires them at you. Then he rapid fires them at me. And we talk answers afterwards. Yeah. It's it. like a first date, essentially. It's like a, it's like a that's speed why he, date. That's why he goes so fast, because he's not used yeah. to first dates. I'm ready. I am. I'm, you're going to fuck after this first date. Ooh. In the butt. <laughs> and no oral. Have, oh, <laughs> yeah. Have dinner with one person dead or alive. Who would it be? Uh, probably my dad. Okay. Okay. If your dick was for sale, where would it be sold at? Uh, Kmart.com. Kmart.com. <laughs> Blue light special. Yeah. <laughs> what do you consider getting to third base? Uh, finger banging. <laughs> when was the last time you did that? <laughs> last week. <laughs> I think. Nice. Who is the person you hate the most? Uh. Pro- probably that classmate of mine that stole the anvil. Stole the anvil. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And uh, this one won't will exclude Marshall, but since you've become number one on iTunes, how has your porn searches changed? Um, I I look myself up more now. <laughs> nice. I try to see if I got anything on there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a good answer. I like that. I should try maybe try that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Just go on Google search. Big Bang Theory girl slash Dante. <laughs> slash Dante. <Yeah. laughs> hey, uh, the chick for the redhead, Rachel from Boy Meets World, now does porn. I heard cool. that. Yeah. Rachel from Bo- Boy Meets World, the redhead. Oh, yeah, yeah. She now uh, does porn. Yeah. So yeah. does the Red Power Ranger. The Jason? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, I think his was gay porn, but he still oh. does porn. So. I don't know if you guys fuck with Family Matters, but there was one yep. season where Laura and Eddie had a younger sister. She ended up doing porn as well. So so did uh, Steve from Blue's Clues. I'm glad we all know so much about porn. <laughs> <man>. This is <laughs> this, this is a, this is our production meeting for the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we just need to start porn clips. What's, yeah, what's your search <laughs> on porn today? All right, Marsh, you ready? Yep. One person, dead or alive, who are you having dinner with? Uh... Current state Kanye. Current state Kanye. Current state Kanye. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. What do you consider getting to third base? Um, the butthole. Butthole? Mm-hmm. Are you fingering it or putting your dick in there? That's, that's well. If I'm sliding in the third, it's a finger. Okay. If okay. I'm, if I'm running. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. If your dick was for sale, where would it be sold at? Uh, Bebop's, where you can get a double cheeseburger and fries and a chocolate shake for a dollar more. You can <laughs> way to plug a sponsor. See, Attaboy. Nice plug and nice sponsor. Plug sponsor. Oh, you also. can also upgrade to a triple. What or that is a double with an extra patty. Yeah. Oh, nice. Or if you uh, go to TomStyre.com, there's a link for me. Wait, does the triple give you patty and cheese, or just patty? Uh, it's cheese too. Cheese, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. okay. They also have a farmer burger, which is the, the pork, farm burger, the pork, insanely uh, good tenderloin with the cheeseburger on top. See, I'm okay, but are you getting tenderloin with cheese on it and then patty with cheese on it? I don't you like can. when I don't like when places don't put the cheese on each thing. Each thing. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You can ask you for that, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, person you hate the most? 
Oh, man. It's a long list there. Taylor Swift. Oh. <laughs> Fuck Taylor Swift. And since Dante became number one on iTunes, how has your porn search changed? Well, since Dante has been number one on iTunes, my porn search has changed because now I only search for Dante on, <laughs> on porn sites. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? So... We watch a lot of the same porn. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> on we, sli we slide into each other's DMs, just yeah. different links. Hey, look, check out this one. Check out this video. Yeah. My we DMs are full of like fast food places I've complained about, and then porn links to Dante. And it's called we call it sliding in the third. They slide so. in the third. <laughs> so we're good to go. And that has been the Blitz. I'll tell you. Nice. I see. That was an easy one. I don't want to go too creepy. I didn't know how comfortable Dante would be with go as too many too many sexual things. I don't give a shit, man. Ask whatever so you want. So we do have a uh, we do have a live audience today. Okay. So that might not have anything to do with this next question. <laughs> but uh, so on your album, uh, the squirrels get fat. Mm -hmm. uh, you talked about saying the N word in sign language. Yes. Um, for those who have listened to it, now that I've just said it out loud, uh, what are the odds of the people in this current audience right now Google searching how to do that? Oh, that I feel like uh, so. This is a like smaller crowd. Yeah. This table, I guarantee, one of the hat people and like <laughs> the guy with the notepad, he's like gonna write himself a note and be like, definitely Google this. <laughs> and then <laughs> these two, the two ladies in the, cen the center table right here, probably already know how to do the N word <laughs> in sign language. <laughs> and then the the four. <laughs> Uh, the guy with the sunglasses on his hat is going to be curious about it. And then, I don't know, this guy in a black shirt, he seems really excited. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, I want to know how to say the N-word, like, with my mouth. <laughs> Fuck my hand. But, um, and then the two at the bar, they're probably pretty chill. He looks like he's just chilling. So, yeah, I think we got about four or five people here. That's, not, that's like what? That's sixty percent. Yeah. I, I, math. Math. Math's uh, hard. Forty percent. You went to Roosevelt, so damn right. But yeah, so, I, I would assume they they probably at least give it a Google, figure yeah. it out. So that was one of my kind of one of my questions. Uh, with that, you know, saying the N word, is there any thing that black people can say that white people can't say? Yeah. The N <laughs> Besides the N word. Oh. Besides the N word. <laughs> I don't know. Like I um okay. I don't know if I should be since I didn't tell you guys the the secret earlier. I'll tell you a secret now. I have a friend, and um we we talk shit to each other constantly, and it's just a fun thing to do. And we yeah, call like each that. other the worst racial slurs we can think of. Okay. I mean, it's just terrible. We uh the, like. <laughs> 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 what, wait, what ethnicity is he? He's black. Okay. So the other day we were talking about something and I, I was like, don't you ever fix your monkey lips to talk? <laughs> and then he, he, so he was like, he was, he was like calling me a spook or something. It was just it was like old school, like terrible slurs. And um, these are all things I've heard in Tom Steyer commercials, so I don't <laughs> understand what's going on. Hey, man, Tom, <laughs> that's why he's not here anymore. Yeah, vote for Tom for president. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the, like, I think just anything that's uh, that's gonna be like either racially insensitive or like something that is like, uh, I guess the best way to describe it would be like valuable to the culture. So like, it's not. Like when we talk about cultural appropriation and like sometimes white dudes will come up to me and be like, yo, what's up, my dude? And I'm like, hey, I'm going to need you to calm down. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, don't do that. Like, just just say, hey, how you doing or whatever. Um, so I, I, I think just uh, learning sensibilities is the thing. Like it, you got the N word and then you got like just feel around territory where it's like don't overdo it, but also don't be like. Don't be so uh, against it that you're like shitting on the culture. Right. Okay. What's something that <clears throat> white people can say that you feel uncomfortable saying? Um, I like on a on a like <laughs> serious because I know there are like jokes and things about this. Yeah. Like on a serious level, like I can't think of 
anything that is like specific to the white experience but I would never like I'd never walk up to a white person and be like yeah. like say you were here you had your lady with you wouldn't be like you know damn girl what's up with you or whatever like so I think there's it's just like a base layer of respect and like approaching all people that I especially don't like I assume white people feel threatened by me, <laughs> so Nat it, it, naturally scared. Naturally yeah, scared, yeah, so in a way that I might joke with black people, I just kind of like sometimes I'm like I, unless I'm in a comedy club, I sometimes will uh, put up my own defense mechanism okay. about <laughs> about white people. Well, I appreciate you thinking I have a lady. That makes yeah, I was like, this must be a <laughs> fiction be, story. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That man. makes me feel good about myself. At least somebody <laughs> believes it's possible. Yeah, man, you can do it. Look. Are there any stereo like any good stereotypes? Um, I like. I used to come from somewhere. Yeah. Are I there any ones we can still talk about? Like, I feel like every stereotype is kind of like, oh, don't do that. Are there any good ones we can still talk about, kind of thing? I was talking about this with somebody recently. I couldn't think of any like solidly good ones but um one of my one of my like favorite things to think about is uh like how the fried chicken stereotype <laughs> has just become a thing where like people will talk about how much black people love fried chicken but nobody talks about how much white women love tacos. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. Like, no, like white women have like stolen tacos from Mexicans. From Mexicans, and it's just fine. <laughs> like, oh, and you want some, you want some chicken, black guy? And I'm like, bitch, what about tacos? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, Ta tacos and tequila. All right, <laughs> <laughs> <No>, uh, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> uh, Cody started doing this a few weeks ago, and I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> so I went through your Instagram earlier. Okay. Oh, damn, I and I'll good. put this picture up on the uh, on the video stream. What's up with this picture? Oh, that's my boy Wilson. I got a pet cat named Wilson. It's just him and his cat. He's uh, <gasps> yeah, he's yeah, dope as fuck. Happy. Yeah. It's just, it just. I mean, it's a very provocative picture. It I don't is. Know how to take it? Like he's, he's sexy or mean. <laughs> I think a little bit of both. Okay. <laughs> he had just asked me if he had permission to say the N word, and I was like, "Of course you do." <laughs> he's a black cat. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a black, black cat. cat. He's black. Of course right. you can. Uh, next one. Uh, you look like a pretty good marksman. Uh, oh yeah, you, yeah. Do you I own guns or do you just go shoot? Oh, I have so many guns. That's not a threat to anyone. I just <laughs> drew. I love, a promise. Don't, yeah, it's a promise. Yeah. I grew up. I grew up in Louisiana hunting. I love guns they're my favorite so yeah okay and then last one uh maybe you could just give me a quick story about this one what is it? this guy right here oh okay so i've got a uh looks like corbin <laughs> <laughs> <It> looks <laughs> like <laughs> looks like one of our audience members it's a picture of a guy in the audience with his head circle okay so i have a friend named uh adam caden holland he's from denver he uh he helped produce this show that used to be on true tv called those who can't he like acted in it and everything so he's he's a stand-up comedian and he was in omaha so i went out to open for him and during the show there was this guy that would not shut the fuck up <laughs> and uh I was, I was like, <laughs> at one point, I literally said to him, yo, you got to shut the fuck up. And uh, he wouldn't, so I took a picture of him, and I posted it on the internet, and apparently, like, somebody that was, that I'm friends with knew the guy. They are like, oh, I'm sorry that this person who I know is a shitty human <laughs> came to your show and ruined it, but, you know, I, what can I do? And... Then the guy ended up seeing it and getting embarrassed and apologizing. I don't, I don't know if he apologized, sure. but I, I I know he felt bad about it. And we uh like he's one of those people that like I felt good about being mean to him to a point. <laughs> should should we nominate him for the Kyle McLean low life piece of shit? You you can um okay, absolutely. He's a, he's a nominee. He's a nominee. We got a nominee. Right, we yeah. got a nominee. Okay. Um. So I mean, obviously that that sucks when people. Just heckle during the set. I've got do, shitty do friends you, too. Do you though, roast so. that? Do you roast people in the crowd when you're on stage Ooh, and you talk? Sometimes, yeah, it depends. So, it, there's, it takes a lot for me to be like, all right, I want to like shit on this person. But if I'm if I'm just up there having a good time and somebody is engaging because they're a little too drunk or whatever, I try to keep it 
under control enough that it's like, hey, like, calm it down just a little bit. We're all in this together. Let's just have a good time. But if it becomes necessary, I have been to where I'm like, all right, fuck it, your turn. Let's do this. <laughs> Some judgment <laughs> style. And yeah, you you yeah. just have to go in. Okay. Oh, and the last one I had in my phone. <laughs> uh, this is actually so I was just trying to find all your you know dirty demons online. I'm w- I put it out there, man. Get and uh, the Des Moines Register wrote an article on you. Yes. About your comedy album. And so when I go to click on, I was like, "Oh, read." I mean, the one just kind of trash. Fuck the one also, no, also nominee for low light. Yeah, basically, week, the, the Ankeny of p- newspapers. No, but they wrote a good article on you. Yeah. Except for the fact that at the very top, they put a video of Dave Chappelle. Yeah, he's a friend of mine, so it's okay. <laughs> Is yeah, he really? I mean, they could have put your picture at the top and said they put Dave Chappelle. Yeah, I I think we I so there was a time in the interview where I like kind of glowingly talked about Dave, and I think the lady that wrote it was just like. I think her, the, she was very happy that there was a uh, a local comedian who was kind of reflecting some of the stuff Dave Chappelle has been talking about lately, where he's been like, you know, you should be able to say whatever you want to say, and um, yeah, you're right, it should have been me at the top, but you know, again... It- Dave's a nice guy, so... Yeah, I loved it. I've seen Dave many right. times. Is that the concert. most he's famous fantastic. person you know? Um... Like I don't like I don't know him. Know him? I, like, Do you have his number in your phone? No, but if I needed to contact him, I could. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> did, you, did you see the uh, the tweet from Kanye where Dave Chappelle showed up? At yeah, his he ranch, went to Wyoming. And it was just awkward as shit. Yeah, he was like, "Come on, Dave, give us something." To Dave. Dave's like, "Fuck off!" <laughs> like <laughs> he's like, "Tell me something positive." He's like, "I don't write positive shit." He's like, "Oh, there's the joke." And yeah, like, right, it was, it was weird. I hate being put on the spot to tell a joke, and I could tell Dave was like. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> so, oh. I. But anyways, can you tell us a joke? Um, <laughs> sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> what an asshole! God, you're an asshole. <laughs> Let's see. I don't. I don't write a lot of short jokes, but I'll. I'll well, tell Cody's my here. jokes are Cody's short. Here, so yeah. perfect. I've tried to beat you to that. All my jokes are short. I'm gonna. I'll tell you. We can, I, we can do it after the break. Um, if you want. Yeah, cause yeah. we got a break from our sponsors, uh, Vandenberg Tiny Homes and Bebops, and we'll be right back. All right. Vandenberg Tiny Homes. Have you heard of the new boom in custom homes? Tiny homes are quickly becoming the thing in custom homes, and Vandenberg Tiny Homes is your best option. You can choose from a standard design or ask for a custom design option. Vandenberg Tiny Homes are high quality, handmade, portable, and can be made in a much quicker time than standard homes. If you have questions or would like to place an order, text 515-954-0678. Again, that number is 515 515- Nine five four zero six seven eight. When you're hungry, head to the nearest Bebop's for the classic taste of Bebop's hamburgers and cheeseburgers, voted best of Des Moines. When your stomach is telling you it's time to eat, head to the nearest Bebop's for the one and only Bebop's classic chicken sandwich, your choice, grilled or lightly breaded. When you just can't wait for that rich, one-of-a-kind taste, head to the nearest Bebop's for a classic thick Bebop's chocolate shake and rich and tasty chili. When you're hungry, head to the nearest Bebop's. Classic American food, Bebop's. Better than... A uh, big thank you to our sponsors, Vandenberg Tiny Homes, Bebops, and uh, Tom Steyer for president. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey, thank you to Teehees for letting us uh, yes. film here. Oh, you like to roast the venues. Do you want to roast the Teehees logo? Um, the, I, I don't because I don't know <laughs> what cultural importance that's this logo has. <laughs> I want to be roasting, and then they'd be like, well, actually, that's Can't, the... Hashtag cancel Dante. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want those problems. <laughs> that's fair. So, um, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, back to your uh, stand-up. Um, do you still have the sex robot? Oh, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't bought it yet. I'm still saving. That, oh, yeah. I, that's I, thought you, I thought you'd already bought it. I uh, drive an F-150, so I kind of... Yeah. yeah. So for those who don't know, uh, check out Dante Powell on iTunes, uh, When the Squirrels Get Fat. Is yeah. That's the correct title? Yep. When squirrels, the squirrels Get, get fat. fat. Squirrels Get Fat, yeah. And uh, you'll hear all the jokes about Marohe Can, Mall. My favorite one is... The squirrel, ha- so fat he has to back down the tree. 
Just, I just can picture that. My grandpa sits there in his big, <laughs> big living room with a big old window. He feeds the squirrels and I watches think those. Your grandpa's so fat that he he's fat too, but he's old, so I give him. Bro, care. that's, that's care. just like a real thing I saw. I was like, oh shit, that's how I would have to go down a tree if I was a squirrel, <laughs> bro. <laughs> and it was just. It I think. Me. Would it be harder to get up the tree if you're fat, or get get down the tree? I think getting down if you're a squirrel, cause like you got all that pushing you like go. Yeah. If if you're a squirrel and you get halfway up the tree, you can just kind of rest and be like. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, let me get my breath. <laughs> so before, so we got a couple things coming up. We got uh, the audience wrote down a bunch of questions throughout the show. We're gonna read and ask. Okay. Uh, we just got some other stuff we're gonna ask you, and then also we got the uh, Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. Okay. Yeah. Our nominees so far, the uh, Anvil guy. <laughs> yep. Guys, don't. I still want to know, like, what was his plan for that? Like, Mark West is his name. Mark I mean, West. Oh, I, I need to stop Fuck saying that Mark on podcast, West. but I keep doing it. <laughs> I I, I I got his mug shot. If you guys want to see <laughs> we it, put, we'll put that we'll put that on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. send that to us. We'll put it on the hit podcast. Up in the DM. We'll, we'll yeah. that one in. Uh, I just, that's like so. I had people that take to steal that anvil. I had a good person <laughs> for the Kyle McLean Little Piece of Shit of the Week Award. In the world of Kyle McLean's, only one stands out. It's the Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. <laughs> You can only nominate me so many times. I know. And I'm going to tell you who the runner-up this week is. And is it Cody Hicks because he bailed on us four times in a row? No, I've never heard of him. Uh, He's a terrible country So player. the <laughs> Animal Rescue League uh, saved the kitten this week because Jason Thomas Fortney, who would be the low-life piece of shit of the week, runner-up this week. Uh, essentially, Put him on blast. Uh, there we go. He was beating the shit out of a cat, and two guys filmed it and took the cat from him and saved the cat's life. Yeah, fuck that, that guy. guy. In any other world, would be the low life piece of shit of the week. Not in my world. <laughs> I this week's low life pe- low life I hate living in your world. Week. Taylor Swift. Oh my, <laughs> Dante, how do you feel about Taylor no, no, Swift? You, no, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna give you. I'm a, a legit reason why she's the low life piece of shit of the week. I know you like petty people, but this bitch was petty. <clears throat> she was selfish and released her album the day Kanye was gonna release his album, which caused him to go into a panic attack. And oh that's my fucked God. up. And that's fucked up. No. Like, yeah, this guy beat no. the shit out of a cat. She caused Kanye to go into a panic attack, and that's fucked up. Taylor Swift, low life piece Fuck of shit. Fuck Kanye West. He's a low life piece of shit. Wow. Did you know Dante's the Des Moines Kanye West? <laughs> so So, I, I, I love Kanye, but this is the thing. I think... So, I, he, it's so complicated. <laughs> so, here's the thing. Kanye was right. And what he was saying at the VMAs, his execution was flawed terribly. Yeah. He shouldn't have interrupted her. But what he was saying was true because if you think about it, they gave Taylor Swift the award for best female video, but then the best video of the year was Beyonce's video. So like, is Beyonce not a female? Is her video not a female video? Beyonce's See? like above that. It makes everything. perfect sense. But I mean, if 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 her video is the best video of all of the year, so then how is it not also the best female video? video of the year should be between the winner of female video, male video, group video. Yeah. I mean, that's like, that. like ask. That's like saying you know the best. The the uh, Cy Young Award can't be an MVP winner too. Like he's if he's the best player on the best team. That's different. It's the same thing. Position. Oh, yeah. not but, even the same. But all that said, I think that Taylor Swift then played up the victimhood of that. Well, she's good at that. To I'll the give, I'll give to her the point that. that like yeah. she we, does not shop at Walmart. Yo, Taylor Swift. I swear, like Taylor Swift's body count looks like a rapper. <laughs> Like if you thank you low life piece of shit of the week Taylor I Swift. I am not kidding. If you look at the dude's Taylor Swift fuck, it looked like you trying to like cast the Avengers, and you just like <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> white dude with a six pack, white dude with a six pack, white Thanos. dude with a six pack, white dude with a six pack. Old white dude just, used to have a six pack. Yeah, just like all these famous white dudes, and it's like, hey man, like she she out here running through. Is she when. <laughs> when you picture Taylor Swift having sex, do you imagine she's good at it or bad? Oh my god, I know. Okay, I bet Taylor Swift is incredible in bed unless you need her to be doggy style. Then I bet her body hits some yeah, really... You're, you're, you're beating your own guts at that point. <laughs> I, who says... 
Who yeah. says beating the, beating the guts up? You never heard the fairy I have guts? heard that, have but come on. Guts? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, but who, who says that? That's Taylor like a Swift 1990s thing. Taylor Swift's lack of butt cheeks says it. I just, I, I think she's just a very angular person. Yeah. And has, like, uh, that more so. I, I don't know. I, I assume ever, everybody is good at sex. Would you rather sleep have with you her or not sleep with her? Have you seen Masters of the Universe <laughs> and seen Skeletor? <laughs> with He-Man? Put, put a blonde wig on, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is Low life so hot. Week. <laughs> Top four hottest celebrities. Top four really? hottest is Taylor Swift. Scott you know Johansson. Uh, can we cut Cody off, <laughs> please? <laughs> You're cut off. <laughs> Scott Johansson. Scott Johansson. Blake Lively. Blake Lively. Amanda Heard. Who? Uh, who? Amanda Heard. Who's Amanda Heard? She's in uh, Drive Angry. She's in... Uh, what else? I'm trying to think. And then... Uh, and Marco Robbie, Robbie and okay. then Taylor Swift. So top five. Wait. Top five. Sorry. Wait. So your top five is all blonde white women. Sexy. I get it. I get but it. But no dudes even. Yeah. Oh well, no. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't. Okay. Let's be honest here. Okay. Scarlett Johansson, Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, and Ryan gets a bump up, maybe ahead of Blake because he slept with Scarlett and Blake. So. Wow. He's married to both of them. So I, I might give him a little bonus point there, like. I mean, if I, had to, a, if I had to suck a dick, if I had to suck a dick, that'd be the dick one. I would choose. There you go. You hit if I had to, him. if it was like suck a dick or die. All right, Ryan, come here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's fair. What about you? Who's your top five hottest celebrities, Dante? Ooh, right now, um, Patrick Mahomes is probably number one. He's like, if he doesn't talk, I, I like that weird voice. That little curvy. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I don't fuck the shit out of you, Dante. Like, I'm like, bro. No, you're not. Get over here, though. That was cute. Yeah, throw me them balls. Yeah. Um, so, Pat Mahomes. Then probably, uh, I don't know, man. I saw a picture of Martha Stewart in the pool. <laughs> oh, jeez. She kind of crept up. Martha, Martha looking good. Then, you think you can steal her away from Snoop? Man, Snoop better chill out. <laughs> I, Martha was looking; she looked like she was in a mood, and I was, I was feeling it. Um, what are the odds of those two have actually slept together? Oh, I, really, really good. I, really good. Yeah, I'd go fifty, 50 plus. 50? 50. Yeah, I bet. I bet Snoop gave her the doggy style. Um, no, he gave her doggy style. Yeah, I. So Patrick Mahomes, Martha Stewart, uh, Beyonce is always in there just because I fuck with a lot of the stuff she does. Uh, I ain't gonna argue with that. And then, I don't know, the last two is like a rotating cast of just whoever I've seen lately, like Flo the Progressive Girl, and, <laughs> and, uh, and the, new, the new dude from State Farm, the new Jake from State Farm, the, the black one. I, like, I, I want to have a threesome with them where I just watch most of the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who can give each other better? Well, uh, yeah. 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 Let's see if we can put uh, Jake from State Farm and Flo the Progressive Girl. Yeah. Reach out to them, see if they'll be on the podcast, and or hey, or make that a new porno search. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's, I'm with that's it. That's a new porn search. I'm down with it. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, so also on your uh, on your comedy special, <clears throat> my absolute favorite joke uh, about the girls knocking on your door, trying to convince you to caucus, so you pulled your pants down. Oh yeah, fantastic joke. Thank you. What's your favorite joke you've ever told though? Ooh, um, probably. Probably, like, I like short jokes that just... Me too. In and out. Um, I used to do this joke about how I think it's strange that babies' fingernails are so sharp, but they don't have access to cocaine. <laughs> 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 and I, lo like, I love the thought of that. Like, would that be cool as shit if you could just... Get a coked up baby? Yeah, oh, my <laughs> God. I Cause oh they got. Some, I don't. Have you ever held a baby and it oh. grabbed your face? You're like, oh, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Why come get this little? Boy? Put some mittens on it. Yeah. Oh man, I never heard that joke. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's. Uh, <laughs> it sucks, man. We got to get babies in cocaine. <laughs> <You> gotta, <laughs> that's that can be the rumor of the week. Is that we're funding cocaine babies now? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, so. During the break, Cody was telling us about how he's going to be doing a uh, open mic night. Hell soon. yeah! I won't say when. Here soon. Mm -hmm. And um, but he's been writing a lot of dark jokes. Mm -hmm. A, are you a fan of dark jokes? And B, this goes to you, Cody. Will you tell us some of your dark humor? Yeah, you got to come out when I do stand up and check it out. Ooh. You're not gonna tell us in advance. No, nope. he knows how to sell. That, nope. No, that's fair. So I started writing a dark joke the other day. Okay. 
and it's about how the pandemic of the coronavirus has single-handedly stopped school shootings. Mm. <laughs> That's kind of huh. funny. I and, then that. I was gonna, and then I was going to turn it into, and then I was going to turn it into, uh, but the Chris Benoit documentary rentals have been on the rise. <laughs> 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 so for those who don't know Chris Benoit, <laughs> Google it. <laughs> Some of my favorite dark jokes are like the Sandy Hook jokes and things wow, like that Cody. that are wow, offensive. Wow, I like offensive up, humor. Man. I like Kids offensive humor. Hear the, hear the jokes, They're man. not like, hey, as long as they stay out of school. So like the Sandy Hook was a hoax, so <laughs> Google it. Or the Google it. Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> Aurora. You guys said you were getting dark. I was like, let's see how dark you're gonna fucking get. <laughs> the Aurora um <laughs> Colin Biden? No, the Colin Aurora the Aurora movie, movie theater. theater one. No. You got a joke about that? I haven't written any, but I do. There's some good ones. Here's a like here's a fun joke show. about that one. Do you think when they uh, make the movie about the Aurora shooting, they're gonna show it in that theater? <laughs> <laughs> or is it straight to straight to straight Disney, Disney, Plus? Disney, Plus. Yeah. Straight to Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. <laughs> like, All right. So, kind of speaking of Disney, Dante. <laughs> School fu shooting. Fuck, speaking fuck of Disney. Mary Kill. Okay. Simba, Peter Pan, Pinocchio. Okay, I'm fucking Pinocchio off okay. the rip. Okay. Um, Cause he's a real boy. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna kill Simba. What? And then I'm a yeah. Fuck Simba, hey, yeah, man. Fuck, seriously, fuck Simba. No, I, Simba's the Simba Lion King, left. man. Simba just left. His dad died. He just runs the fuck away. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't leave when your dad died. Yeah, my dad died. I'm still here kicking. There you go. <laughs> Have you ever, and you're going to marry Peter Pan then? I guess so. I'm not going to fuck him when I marry him. <laughs> That's usually how that works when you get married. Uh, right? So we have a local group called the DDC. It's the Dead Dad Club. Okay. Marshall is, uh, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, part of that group. I don't, depends on how you look at it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's all about how you spin it. Yeah. Okay. Wait, are, where are you going with this? That's, that's kind of where I was going. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's good. Just telling me about the club. No, no, dude, yeah. Hey, I, want you, I want your insight on this. Since Cody rudely wants to bring this up. <laughs> we talked about this on a podcast probably. Mm, I think it was with Tyler Keeling, actually. Okay. And this is why Cody should... Actually, Cody was the Kyle McClain low life piece of shit of the week that week. <laughs> okay. So we have a friend named Kenny. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is one Kenny. of those stories where you're like... You like to roast people. You don't want to hurt their feelings. Well, I went, Kenny, I went a little Kenny, too far with this one. Kenny's I, the world's I nicest feel, guy. I Kenny, do feel bad about this one. Kenny's like, hey, man, you look cold. You want my shirt? Like, boom. Nicest guy. <laughs> Might be a little big on you, but he'll give you the shirt. He's every girl's best friend. Aw. He is. See, he's, now you're still roasting him. He's, oh, he's a piece of <laughs> shit, man. He's a piece of shit. Say so, the nice guy. He said all. So, he said all. I just I, this I, I probably, assume that means his dick is pretty dry. <laughs> no, he's got a girlfriend. Well, so he's doing better than I am. That's true. So this is about probably five years ago. Kenny's dad dies beginning of the year in a tractor accident. Was it with the dude from The Bachelor? <laughs> <laughs> That's a real question in Iowa. That's true. That's, I'm not being silly. I'm telling you. That's who once once piece Chris of shit Souls. of the week is Chris Souls. Once he hears Chris Souls, just take somebody out. Yeah, right. Uh, you pull over, you see Chris Souls accident. coming. Okay, so this is a different tractor accident. Yeah, different yeah. One, different it one. happens more often than not in Iowa, apparently. So it's yeah. Father's Day, and me and Cody were hanging out. And we're sitting there. We got a group chat like me, him, Kenny, a bunch of our people were in it. And Cody looks at me and says, hey, man. And he shows me this picture that this motherfucker Google searched by himself. And it's a picture of a kid waving at a tractor. <laughs> it, says, it says, hey, should I send this to Kenny in the group chat and say, happy Father's Day? <laughs> and I look at him and say, absolutely. You should absolutely do that. So th you know what this motherfucker does? He sends it. It says, happy Father's Day, Kenny. <laughs> group chat, silent. I Nobody <laughs> says a word. Nobody says a word. At least a half like hour. 15, 20 <laughs> yeah. minutes, however long it was. And then finally, Kenny just goes, Wow, dude. <laughs> too, 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 too. Instantly, I commented, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Buddy? That's, <laughs> that's, that's Marshall's go to, is just to throw me under the bus. <laughs> Whenever he can. He under the tractor. Yeah. Not. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, should Cody be the little like, piece of shit of the week every week? Yeah, I, I, don't I apologize. I f still feel bad about that. That was like five years ago. But if you're friends, like, you'd rather, you gotta, th that's how, it, like, it's tough. Because you don't want to, like, shit on them. 
it's not a thing like that, but it, you also want to just kind of like poke your friends in the ribs. And, and, and in my defense, yeah, Marshall yeah. and I have a pretty good relationship, and we have a like a nothing's like too like soon. Lovers that are now friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's yeah. nothing too soon in our relationship. So literally, his dad died like five years ago. Yeah, bring it up, thanks. The day or the day or two after that, he died of cancer. The day or two after that, he tells me, he goes, he texts me, he goes, hey, how do you get gum out of your hair? And I go, I don't know, you have short hair, like peanut butter. I don't, what do you need <laughs> gum out of your hair for? And he goes, cancer. <laughs> I'm like, that's a pretty like cold joke, especially for someone whose dad just died like cold, two like days ago. Bodies. You're fucked up, man. Stop. <laughs> Here we go. Always throw me under the bus. That's still one of my favorite jokes, but it's... You know what's crazy? So when he said like, it's good to go, I was like, that's oh, good to go. There's a stereotype that like black dads aren't present, and I got a dad and a stepdad. I'm up here feeling like I'm looking down on you like low-key, like, uh, sucks to be you. <laughs> like, uh, I'm just over here like dadding it up. Like I got you, you want to talk my extra dad next weekend? I got I got two. <laughs> Thank you, man. As a matter of fact, hey, I appreciate that. Oddly enough, my my mom and stepdad divorced. My mom is dating two dudes now. One of them is a white dude. Her. So good for her. We can I can I can hook you up. I got options. <laughs> Perfect. Do you, need, do you need like fatherly advice, Marshall? No. Well, I'm a I'm a dad now, so I give the fatherly advice. I watch <laughs> Doctor Phil. Don't be an asshole. That's your fatherly yeah, yeah. advice. I watch Doctor Phil. Price is right. I got all the advice. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go to a new segment we just started called Questions from the Audience. All right. I'm gonna try to guess who asked. Yeah, this, oh, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. too. That's awesome. <laughs> this question here. I, I don't know who these are directed towards, so I'm just gonna read them out loud and we can guess. If you had to spend a weekend in Malcolm, Iowa, what would you bring with you? Mm, I feel like somebody on this side of the room sent this one up. Well, the two guys, um, the two guys? guys shirt crew. Yeah. But um, if I was gonna spend a weekend there, I I don't know. I try to find like a, a decent Airbnb and just watch. <laughs> <laughs> but what? But what are you bringing with you to Malcolm though? Um, I'm just gonna bring. I'm gonna bring some food, like a nice, a nice. Few yeah. steaks. Yeah, like they probably don't have a lot of options there. Yeah, I, I can't imagine they actually have Airbnbs in Malcolm Isle either. Well, hey, yeah, know. there could be some lonely farmer out there that doesn't have a dad anymore. Or, tra or but he drives a tractor. <laughs> but he drives. He drives, he I mean, drives I, a mean tractor. I hit up farmers only and see if I can uh, <laughs> arrange something. I'm Cody, what would you bring uh, to Malcolm, Iowa? I would bring. I don't know something. I I'm, I just imagine Malcolm has like a lot of Amish people for some reason. Okay, that's so fair. So I'd, I'd bring a cell phone charger, for sure, and try to figure yeah. out how to charge that thing. Or electricity? Yeah. Okay, that's right. I would bring my laptop so I could watch porn. Yeah. You, can watch porn you can watch porn on your phone, huh? No, but I want the big screen. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to watch no tiny titties. I want some big titties. <laughs> you get the projector out and, like, project it onto the side yeah. of the building. Oh, there's going to be some projection going on. <laughs> Next question. What is your favorite comedy movie and Why? Ooh, uh, That's I a good love question. you, man. That seems very simple. Some assume the girl's in the middle. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually going with, uh, I'm going with over here, the White Hat Crew yeah. over here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know. But I love you, man. Is my favorite. It's it's a movie. Movie. That's, That's a good movie. That's a great movie. movie. Uh. When he called, so the best part of that movie is when he says, "All right, pistol," because the guy's name's Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fuck it up. He calls him Tobin. He calls him Tobin. He's all right, Tobin. Tobin, my goats. I would say the other guys. The other guys. That's a great movie. That's a great movie. The other guys are just funny every time you watch it. But still, because... And that's the reason. I used to say Liar Liar or... What's the other Jim Carrey movie? I can't leave it right now. Oh, Ace Ventura. Not Ace Ventura. The Cable Guy. <laughs> yeah, the cable guy. Cable guy's are very underrated. Every time I've watched, I've been watching the other guys because it's on Amazon Prime, and I've watched mm -hmm. that. It's on Netflix too. Netflix too, yeah. I've watched it over and over, and every time I watch it, it gets funnier and funnier. Right. Uh, I'm gonna say consistent because I've always said my favorite movie of all time is Beverly Hills Cop. So nice. Right there. Go with that. That's a correct answer. Next question from the audience. What's something you have tried that you will never ever try again? Ooh. Who would ask that? That's a that's a David Prince or Joe Thomas question for sure. Oh, that that Joe Thomas question. Something that I've tried. Black shirt over here. That's a black okay. shirt question. All right, great something, question. Something that I've tried that I'll never try. Man, I've tried a lot of weird things. 
I can't. Uh, I can't think of anything. Tell me you've tried. Never tried again. I'll tell you what. Pickles. They're fucking disgusting. <laughs> never ever will I try one again. Everything about them is disgusting. They're the Taylor Swift of food. Uh, they're uh, gross. I'm talking food. Cow tongue. Cow tongue is. Oh, lingua is delicious. Hmm. I didn't. I'm not a fan of it. Not a fan of it. Horse, um, on the other hand, is phenomenal. I rode a Greyhound bus one time, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest with you. I like I'm not above like if I if, I'm not above like having a shitty car or like riding in a shitty tour bus with a bunch of friends. All that shit is cool. Greyhound is a different the, like man. It's like uh, crackheads anonymous on that motherfucker. It's like the the Walmart of vehicles. That's Mark. That's, that's yeah. Mark West's preferred form of transportation for sure. <laughs> oh, it's it's just. Just I throw them out I there. I can't do oh, it. Oh, Anvil guy? Yeah. yeah. Anvil guy. All right, we got four more here. Let's do it. <laughs> What's the better word? Finger blast or cunning linguist? I, I can guarantee you who wrote this question. <laughs> That's David Prince. That's uh, uh, David Prince. 100% David right Prince. What's the better word? Finger blast or cunning linguist? Finger blast or cunning linguist? Ooh, uh, probably finger blast. Fing yeah, yeah, that's a great word. That's finger blast. Like, could you imagine going up to a girl at the bar and like hitting on her, and then like she's like, "You want to go home?" I'm like, "Yeah, girl, I'm about to finger blast the shit out of you." I Any girl is down for that. I'm into. Like, that's mm -hmm. all right. Cunnilingus is still. I I like it. It's a great word. No, that's, that's a fantastic word. That's too educated for me. Like the girls yeah. that that know what that word means are just too intelligent for me to pick up. So yeah, I had a. Uh, I had a regular at this bar I work at. He was telling us about how he took a girl home, which was very surprising. And he asked her if she wanted to orgasm clitorally or uh, vaginally. And I thought that was very weird. Is there a difference? Yeah. Clitorally or vaginally? When you when you make them orgasm yeah, one of them's gonna clitorally, be your cunning you're cunning you're linguist. Using, you're ju it's just the clitoris. But if you make them orgasm vaginally, it's because your penis Penetration? Is, yeah. For, for oh, okay. the audience who couldn't hear, I said I had a regular one time who asked a girl if she wanted to be, or if she wanted to orgasm vaginally or clitorally. The ideal way is to use these I, two fingers I, and I'm not do both. You do this? Yeah. So I you, can, you can go inside and be in, you can you can tap the G spot. Yeah. Yeah. And then while also finger, be, <laughs> while your finger blasting. This is this is sex ed one on one, man. Yeah. I love this. So you gotta it, listen. Your hand is gonna get tired real <laughs> fast, but you gotta you gotta be quick and then G spot. Yeah, okay. If you're playing a lot of Call of Duty, your hand's gonna be good. But if you're <laughs> yeah. not used to those paddles, I'm not, I'm not a gamer, man. I yeah, guess. I if guess. you if you really yeah. want to do some like extra freak shit. Like, put your face down there, and then you got to, like, smooch the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about the butthole smooching. So, I'm not about that. Wow. <laughs> All right. Dante, have you ever had a squirter? Have I ever what? Had a squirter? Yes. yes. You, how do you feel about that? It's fine. You just clean up a little more, but... Yeah. You need, need to go through... Do a lot, of, a lot of laundry. You know what's weird? This is another joke I've been working on, and it, but it's from the truth. I like women think that guys like super sloppy blowjobs because dudes are out here saying that dumb shit. <laughs> and I don't like like I don't like when I get up from a, a blowjob and I'm like trying to walk to the bathroom and then like now my ass cheeks are sliding. <laughs> I, I always I'm like, did this bitch make me squirt? Like what the fuck? <laughs> why am I? <laughs> why is my asshole so slippery right now? I could get the shit fucked out of me. <laughs> you gotta go there and wipe down your butthole after a blowjob. It's not cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just standing in a shower like. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> spread them apart. I, yeah. pull, I think pull is, the is it, was it Danny T that says Dan oh, Danny about T. the you shower? Danny T? Yeah, I yeah. Did. Well, Danny T. Yeah, he did a whole bit about uh, spraying, spraying his butthole. Butt yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, Danny T's a funny he guy. He goes in the man. shower. He's like. It ain't gay. Like, don't tell me you never got in the shower and spread your butt cheeks and let that shower rinse that thing off. <laughs> titties. <laughs> titties. Yeah, that's Danny titties. T. Titties. Danny T's funny. Danny T's yeah. funny. Yeah, I haven't right, he hasn't opened for a while. questions left. Fuck, Mary kill. You ready? I'm ready. Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, Cody King. <laughs> I knew that was... I knew... <laughs> I knew I was going to be in there somewhere. <laughs> Um, alright, so we're going to, uh, I'm gonna fu fuck Cody. Yeah! Nice. 
Nice. Nice. Nice. And then I'll marry Chappelle, yeah. and then we'll we'll kill Kevin Hart. Yeah. Um, I'm taller than Kevin Hart. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking the crowd. I'm trying to figure Wikipedia out. Wikipedia says he's five four. I'm five six and a half. Oh, Katie. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Every half inch matters, right, yeah. Dante? See, Cody, you can't answer that because you'd pick all three for yourself. Which Speaking, is, which is like some Robin Williams. Speaking shit, of but five, I would every, go, uh, Dante, that's six inches, right? Uh, yeah. Hey, man, metric, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take I'm a, it. See, I'm gonna marry Dave Chappelle. Okay. Obviously, but I'm gonna fuck Kevin Hart. Okay. I feel like he, I feel like he's got a nicer butts than you, Cody. I'm gonna pretend. I'm gonna kill Kevin Hart. But I don't I find him that funny. I you don't think? See, do you think Kevin Hart's funny? Oh, I, I love. I think he's hilarious. I think Kevin Hart's so funny. Dave Cody. Chappelle is hilarious. I love Dave, Dave Chappelle. Chappelle's the funniest. I'd marry him. I've never seen him in my life. I'd, yeah. I've never seen him, but I love his stand-up. But I uh, would definitely marry him. He's worth more money, Kevin so when I divorce him, I get more alimony. <laughs> I think Kevin Hart. I'm like, thinking financially here. Especially when you get Kevin Hart and The Rock together, I think they're a fantastic <laughs> dynamic. Yeah, they have a good dynamic. That's. I mean, and Kevin Hart. He's it, a funny guy, man. It reminds me of me and you. You being Kevin Hart, me being The Rock. That makes sense. Based off body type. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> the, Cody, you can't answer this one again. If See, were, that's what I do. It. My fucking friends suck. <laughs> if you were a girl and Cody King came up to hit on you, what's your first thought? <laughs> that's a fair question. Um, I wonder. I wonder if he knows the trick. The <laughs> 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 now I do. Now yeah, I do. You know, yeah. uh, now I'm never. I'm never striking out again. <laughs> see, I would look around and see if there's like. J also, you know what else is funny? Sometimes this is another thing. Sometimes you have to go in with the the pistol, so you take these two fingers to get in there and do this. But at the same time, you can use your other hand for the, the clitoral. The oh, the no, clitoris. you. You. I like your enthusiasm <laughs> for the butt. Oh, that's, that's, but, where, that's where your mouth's at. That's yeah, where your mouth's at. So you gotta. <laughs> You gotta work them at the same yeah. time. See, if if Cody King came hit me, I would assume that like uh, Mers or Joe Gatto or one of the Impractical Joker guys were out filming me. <laughs> and Fuck Sal Volcano. He's wow. the worst Practical Joker. I hate uh -huh. him. Wow. It's aggressive. Okay, last question. How do you feel about the middle seat in an airplane? I'm glad they're keeping that motherfucker empty on Southwest. Cause right. Like, I, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> I don't know why I, like, am so open about this stuff with people. So, one time I was flying to Denver. No, I was, I was flying back from Denver. And um, this lady in the middle seat, I was window seat, she's middle seat. And she started just talking to me about, uh, she's like, so what are your plans for when you get to Chicago? And I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to Chicago. She's like, oh, well, where are you headed to? And I was like, Des Moines. She's like, okay, well, what are your plans for when you get to Des Moines? And I was like, I don't know, man. I'm, get the fuck away from you. Like, I, like, <laughs> so she kept, but she kept being like, so I can't wait to get to Chicago, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, okay, I guess she's flying to Des Moines and then going to Chicago. And then we get close enough that we're about to land. And then they go, all right, guys, we're approaching Des Moines. We'll be landing in, like, the next 45 minutes. She goes, Des Moines? Isn't that where you're going? And I was like, yes, bitch. That's what we just talked about. <laughs> she was like, wait, this plane is going to land in Des Moines, not Chicago. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> and she goes, I was supposed to be going to Chicago. And I was like, how did you get on this plane. <laughs> like, do you have a layover in Des Moines? She's like, no. Absolutely not. Someone needs to explain what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, she just fell asleep and woke up on the wrong plane? So like, they, they didn't take her off the last time she slept through the whole on offboarding and onboarding? I don't, I don't know what happened, but we, she called the, the uh, flight attendant over. She was like, hey, I, they said this plane is going to Des Moines and I'm going to Chicago. And she like, got her ticket out and it clearly said Des Moines and uh, then she, like the flight attendant was like man I don't know what to, the hell to tell you <laughs> and I'm just I'm, so I'm like it turned around real quick okay let me just ask you real quick at this point if you were me and you get off this plane like you're thinking like oh shit this lady is like me like she's in a messed up situation yeah. right that's the normal thing to think am I, am I I'm not crazy right <laughs> okay 
So tell me why we got off the plane at uh, Des Moines International and like she just beelines like she's leaving the airport like oh god what's wrong here we are coming down the escalator there and her whole family is there just waiting for her. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like what I was like was she trying to throw me off her scent like what is <laughs> she <laughs> what does she think was happening so <laughs> like yeah they were just like oh mom mom's here mom's here <laughs> Mom, welcome back from Denver. And I'm like, what? That's that's hilarious that you bring that up. Because I remember this one time I was going from Des Moines to Chicago. <laughs> and hey, maybe that lady was driving. The yeah, it's, I think it was the maybe same lady. It was, I was flying back to, Ch to, or to Chicago, <laughs> and this lady, like, we're mid-flight, and I'm kind of like watching Netflix, and she goes, "Hey, you going to Chicago too?" I go, well, as far as the airplane goes, I don't know. Ask the pilot. I'm like, "What do you mean, like, going to Chicago too? Like, this plane's going to Chicago. You know this, right?" I kind of go, yeah, aren't we all? She thought it was a, a layover flight or a I, connecting. I mean, I still like. I don't. I don't have. To, I'm not steering the plane. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going where <laughs> the plane's going. You know what I mean? I was just so baffled by that question, and now, now, now I know why. Like, it was upsetting to me because, like I said, that she, like, she called a flight attendant over. She's like, get up <laughs> right ding, now. Ding, 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 ding. I need help. <laughs> yeah. And then can I jump out real quick? <laughs> and so, like, when we got. When we got settled, I just remember being like, "So, do I need to step over you? Like, are you like, are you just gonna stay?" Out? I didn't know what she was gonna do, and then she got off, and I was like, "Well, I guess she'll figure it the fuck out." And then <laughs> you down there's a big old sign, "Welcome home." Yeah, and so like it was so weird because like it wasn't like she met a person, and then when it was like multiple people. <laughs> Like two vehicles worth of people. <laughs> they a party bus. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "Wait, what the fuck is this?" <laughs> um. So I noticed earlier when I was on the uh, social medias today, mm -hmm. and it's something that's been bothering me for a while, but really kicked in today. <clears throat> Why do pregnant women, whenever they pose in a picture, <laughs> do this? And they always just grab the bottom of their stomach and just like, is it? So is it so people know they're pregnant and not fat, or is it just like to brag about that they're pregnant, or what do you think the reason for it is? Because for whatever reason, it really bothers me. I don't know. Maybe they don't want the baby to slide out. <laughs> like they got a real loose vagina. They got to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stay up here, baby. Cody, what do you think? Uh, I've noticed that, and I I've kind of always wondered, and I, I mean, I don't know. That's that's kind of weird. I think that uh, his answer was very very probably accurate. They're like. I think they're trying to, try to keep it up so it doesn't sag. I don't know if oh, like, pregnant women's bellies sag like when you get fat. Like, right, so you call pregnant women fat, Cody? I mean, does your Why? belly hang over? I know your belly hangs over your belt. Mine does. Here, I have a kid. I have an excuse. What's your? Excuse? You didn't. You didn't birth that child. You don't know that. All you did was go. Have you ever even passed the biology? All class? the. Yeah, I know how you got a kid. You went. Take your pants out. All right, I'm done. And you just happened to get lucky. Yeah, Ooh. I Spider Man threw it in there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ooh. See, it's, get, it's, get, it's getting sticky. <laughs> getting tested. The more, the more yeah. Jameson we get, the more aggressive I we get. See it. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to our, our fake sponsor, Jameson. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, who's Tom Steyer. Tom Steyer. Yeah, Tom, Tom Steyer, Tom Steyer Tom Okay, this is going to be a, a kind of a random question. <laughs> and this is more just for my own personal, uh, my own personal knowledge. Uh, what do you think the most elite vegetable is? Elite vegetable. Mm. Elite vegetable. Because I judge people based off their answer. What did you guys say? Asper they say asparagus. Solid. Have you guys asparagus ever seen a asparagus answer. that goes unchecked? Like when you just let it grow? Yeah. Yeah, that shit is nuts. I've never seen that, but I'm going to Google yeah, it. Yeah, we have a... I'm going to Google it right after I Google how to sign the N-word. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I grew up on a farm and we had asparagus growing and we'd cut it down and sell the neighbors and you had to get freaking high. Yeah. Um. Did they cut it down with the tractor, Cody? No, no, no. Get the, the tractor in the, is, in the barn. Uh, is eggplant a vegetable? I think so. I'm going to say eggplant. Eggplant was ruined for me because of the movie Coneheads. Why? Here's a better question. Why are most vegetables penis shaped? I don't know. I'll take like carrots, celery. Like you're all just long shafts, I figure. Like, oh, right. you know what? I just thought about it. Uh, like carrots. I've been fucking with carrots lately. <laughs> carrots was my top. Carrots. Like fingerling carrots, I think they are. Like the smaller ones. Baby, baby carrots. carrots. Yeah. We call Six inches. 
No, I mean like the like kind of fancy carrots. They're like yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're still like the the almost like a triangle. Yep. Like we're long. Mm. I don't know that. Well, I, don't, right. I don't know. I don't take. I don't I mean, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna say apples, man. Okay. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, an apple. So hold on, wait, wait. Just to be clear, just to be clear. Oh, you said vegetable. That's, shit, that's a fruit. The isn't most it? elite vegetable <laughs> is an <laughs> apple. That's a fruit. You're right. It's a fruit. I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm I'm not here to judge <laughs> nobody. Sorry. Too much Jameson. Dante, do you do you lick or bite ice he cream? He said apple. I said I was <laughs> shut up, shut up. I admitted my mistake right away. It's got seeds in it, guys. It's fine. <laughs> I was trying to think of vegetables I like, and the only ones I like would be corn and green beans. The only vegetables I like are apples and bananas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dante, do you lick or bite ice cream? Um, I lick it until it's like in the cone, then I like bite the cone. See, it melts too fast. You must have a good tongue. It must be good with your tongue, cause I, I like. Kind of it melts too fast. Yeah, yeah he finger blasts. It melts too fast. It's all over my hands. I gotta bite that shit. <laughs> uh, okay, we got, we're gonna do about two more questions, and we're gonna wrap it up for okay. the evening. Um, what's the dumbest fact that you know? Uh. Ooh. What is the dumbest? I think that um, we have bilateral extradition laws with Greece because I have a friend who is a conspiracy theorist and thinks that Tom Hanks saw this today. just declared himself a citizen of Greece so he doesn't have to become a registered pedophile here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that Wait, today. wait, he's yeah. a pedophile? Tom Hanks? Yeah. Bro, you need, you need to get on the internet. And <laughs> All I did today up. was watch Dante stand up, so <laughs> get squirrels whole, fat, just, just check Google, it out on just iTunes. Google, just Google Epstein Island. And look at all the celebrities associated with it, and then look at all the stuff they've been doing. There's so many conspiracies. Oh out. man, that yeah. kind of ruins. Cruise, or not Tom Cruise? Sorry, Tom Cruise is fantastic. Tom Hanks. Or oh, Tom Hanks? Yeah, I might have said Tom Cruise. Or no, I mean, Tom I, I Hanks. Said, well, either way, Tom Hanks just became a, a citizen. Of, him and his I wife saw Rita that. Became a citizen. I didn't see. Damn. No laws. I like Tom Hanks as an actor too. That so sucks. with that being said, what's the conspiracy theory we're going to start right here? You need to start Ooh. one. If I had to start a conspiracy theory, I'm going to go with what I already actually believe, and that is that Stevie Wonder can see. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's trying to pull the wool over our eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a good I, one. That why, can see. why do you believe that he can see? Because when he, you guys pulled back further. Remember when he like he was uh, Obama was running for president, and Stevie Wonder fell off stage on Michelle Obama, and he like accidentally grabbed her titty. Like that was. <laughs> oh, sorry about your titty, Michelle. He just knew exactly where her titty was and went for oh, it. Oh my God! Look at oh, these. He's like, oh my Sherry Moore. Yeah, <laughs> the titty. Ariola Braille. Like this is. <laughs> <laughs> Ariola Braille. <laughs> It, uh, <laughs> Her titty said, "Vote for uh, Tom Steyer." <laughs> Tom Steyer. <laughs> but I mean, I I think I think you can see. I I just do. I remember, uh, like, I just remember as a little kid, not even like really knowing what was up with Stevie Wonder, and seeing him on TV and shit, and being like, "That dude, I feel like he's got some secrets." And now I know what they are. I got. <laughs> See, is it weird? That, but they haven't made a movie about Steve, maybe because he's not dead. I don't know. But they haven't made a movie about Stevie Wonder. But they made one about Ray Charles, and yeah. they showed how he became blind and everything. It's like, all right, I get it. You can't Stevie say Wonder. They never made one because you can't make a movie about how Stevie Wonder went blind. Because he's, not, because blind. he's not, not blind. Conspiracy theory. I like it. All right, Dante. What is the greatest mythological beast? Um. Probably just a dragon. See, that's like the go-to answer, but I say Sasquatch. He's the greatest game player of all time. His name's Daryl. His name's Daryl? Yeah. Sasquatch? Or yeah. Uh, is you, his name Daryl? You've seen those commercials, obviously. Yeah, Jack Lynx. Oh, name Jack Lynx. Yeah. Yeah, Daryl. So that's actually, the factory for Jack Lynx is actually in Lorenz, Iowa, which was my vote for last week's Low Life Piece of Shit of Because they spell Lorenz weird. They, they pronounce it weird. It's oh. spelled Lawrence, but it's pronounced Lorenz. Okay. That's oh, they weird. can eat my dick. I'm not saying if it's spelled Lawrence, I'm calling that motherfucker Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> you can't treat a t like the L. Let me shut up before I say something. To get me <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. I like you can't be like our town has special pronouns. <laughs> our town is a they they. <laughs> a they, like, they, they them. No, motherfucker, you, your town is Lawrence. <laughs> okay. 
Here's my last question for the evening. <laughs> yeah, one more question after this. One more question last after this. Question for evening. So, I'm not going to say any names. Cody. Uh, may or may Cody. not have been banned from, <laughs> a, from a dating site called Hinge. Okay. What do you think he would have done to be banned from the dating site Hinge? To make what? How far would it have to go for you to get banned from such a dating site? I don't know. Was he like, like? Have you ever used Hinge or Bumble or Tinder or any of them? No, or, no. Or as our friend Joe Thomas uses Grinder, any of them? No, I no. I, uh, I was on OK Cupid for a while. Okay, okay. But I, I was just. It's, I, I'm just fucking. But like, what, what would you think it would take to get banned from any of those sites? Like, how far would you have to take it? Because those sites are literally. I literally have fucking. no idea what I did to get banned, because I hadn't talked to anybody on there in months, hmm. and I just I couldn't. I kept going in to like check it, and there's no new girl popping up. If we were to and start so, a rumor about why Cody got banned, <laughs> Jesus, from Hinge, what would the rumor be? Rumor, oh. rumor of the week: Why did Cody get banned from Hinge? He was. <laughs> I, I, I did get banned from Hinge. I have no idea why. But okay, I feel like you got banned. To be fair, I didn't even know what the fuck Hinge was till he told me he got. Tyler Keeling's the one that put me on it. Tyler, oh, call him Tyler. Did Tyler get you banned from Hinge? Probably. He's jealous. Did you slide into? Because he's better. He's jealous because he's so much better looking than me. That's true. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I feel like you would have gotten banned for. Uh, for sending unsolicited dick pics, man. But, all right, that's that, that's fair. But here's the, the thing. Prob the problem is people will say, what is this? And you have no, to say it's see, a dick pic. To send a dick pic, you got to be proud and have a big old dick. So, thank you. It's a compliment. <laughs> I got nice. a big old dick on me. <laughs> hey, man, live your life, man. <laughs> to be fair, though, to be fair, because we didn't talk about this on last week's podcast, huge balls. <laughs> Jesus. Giant vanilla dipped oranges. Fantastic. <laughs> That's probably why I got banned from Hinge. My last question for you. You teabagged someone's phone and cracked their screen <laughs> on a fucking DM. I honestly believe it's because our, pod our podcast is associated with my Facebook. Wait, are you and my Facebook people our podcast? No, but our, my Facebook is associated with our podcast, and my Facebook links to Hinge. That's how you get your pictures and all that shit on there. Hmm. So I think somehow, because they link together, that's how it happened. Now our, now our podcast is canceled. <laughs> can't, you can't cancel us. That's fair. We, yeah, we don't give a All shit. All right, Dante. Being from Louisiana, I don't know how close... Or, yeah, Louisiana. I don't know how close that is to New Orleans. Louisiana is actually... <clears throat> New Orleans is in Louisiana, so it's very very close. They're too very much, close too to much Jameson. You know what I'm saying? They're very close to each other. You know what I'm saying? Being from Louisiana, how close is Bernice... How close is Bernice to, Louis to like New Orleans? four and a half hours. Okay. So, I assume you've been to New Orleans. Many times. And when I think of New Orleans, I think of... Mardi Gras and seeing titties Every and all that stuff. I've ever been mm -hmm. in my life. Do you have a favorite set of titties you've ever seen? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, boy. Michelle Obama. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Braille titties. Uh, there's a, uh, a beautiful actress named uh, Gianna Michaels who uh, has the most beautiful breasts I've ever seen. What kind of actress is she? Like Adult a, actress. Adult actress, okay. Yeah. okay. Can, I, can I tell you my favorite pair of titties I've ever seen? Yes. A holly berry swordfish. I was, was just talking about that on the podcast berry. yesterday. A holly berry in the movie Was it swordfish. holly berry or yeah. halle berry? I don't know. I call it holly berry. I think it's halle berry. Well, yeah, tip for a second. Holly berry, swordfish. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, fair, fair enough. Mine would be uh, the chick from Titanic. The uh, old lady threw the, no, the diamond off? The, the picture. When he's pa drawing the picture of her. Rose. Rose. Uh, what's her real name? I can't think of her well, real name. piece of shit of the week should be her. <laughs> for now letting Jack on the, on the door. Because there's fucking room on that door for Jack to get on that door. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right. Well, that's all I got. Dante, we want to give you a big thanks for being on the show. We appreciate it. Thank you guys it. for having me. I'm yeah. Now I'm looking up Gianna Michaels <laughs> in public. You know you're doing a porn yeah, search, right into our, uh, into our DM. Uh, check us out, www.asktheeightballpodcast.com, on social media, at Ask the Eight Ball Podcast. Or, uh, you know, if you see us something. Oh, should we do the final thought of the week real quick? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Final thoughts. So, you, so you, you've seen Jerry Springer. Yes. Final, final thought of the week. Um... Just, uh, you know, when you get the opportunity, make sure you go look up Gianna Michaels. <laughs> okay. That's a good final thought. Cody, what do you got? 
Uh, final thought of the week is uh, searching Dante porn. Dante's porn after this. Is that what you're see, doing when you get home? See, see what kind of porn he's in. Does that make you feel weird? No, no. Look it up, man. <laughs> I need those numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OnlyFans.com slash Dante. The more views, the better, yes, right? Yes. You can never have too many views. Yeah. Uh, and my final thoughts are, uh, A, fuck the city of Ankeny. Agreed. Trash ass. Fuck the state of Nebraska. State of Nebraska. Um, and do it. Taylor Swift is such a bad human being. That she was a worse person than the guy who tried to beat the shit out of a fucking cat. And and vote Tom Spire. And vote Tom Spire for president. <laughs> no. All right, yep. Oh, those are nice titties. Let me see. Oh. Okay, okay. Yep. Well, I don't know if we'll put that up on the Yeah, we can one. put that. That, one might, that one might actually get us canceled. This is from when I was, like, I remember this from when I was, like, 16, 17, and nice. they're still. When you had dial-up back then? Yeah. That would be a good topic for next week, uh, first porn you jerked off to. Uh, uh, so tune in next week for... Uh, for uh, porn reviews, B Bobs, and uh, also uh, first porn we jerked off to. Uh, we'll see you next Thank time. You Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to Teehees, uh, B Bobs, B Bobs, uh, Vandenberg Tiny, Tiny Homes, Homes, Dante Powell, Moose Rattler, Woo! at Moose Rattler. It's R A T T L E R. R A T T L E R, and then at Dante Powell on Twitter. And I think I still got like 10 spots open on Facebook because I keep getting deleted. So <laughs> if you want to be my friend on Facebook, you can add me. I'm, I got in there. We're friends on Facebook. And OnlyFans. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Yes.